This is Tech Talk HSC El Paso. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson, and I have your news and events for this week. A smart helmet that can help diagnose concussions in football players is being developed by a group of TTU HSC El Paso students, and the innovative technology has landed the entrepreneurs in the Space Race semifinals. The international startup competition is hosted by NASA and the Center for Advancing Innovation. What the Space Race is, is essentially NASA getting together with different um, community leaders uh, in different parts of the, the nation and uh, trying to get their technology out there into the world. Our uh, team is actually using one that uh, is, could be plugged into any electrical circuit. So we figured, you know what, if we could create a circuit that you could put around the head and when you have impact to that circuit, you could then measure you know, uh, where that impact happened and how long that impact happened and the size of that impact. And with those variables, you could then plug into a certain equation that could tell you whether or not the person is at risk of having a concussion. The hope is that by using the smart helmet, players will be taken off the field immediately after a hit instead of continuing to participate while injured. Nearly one-third of athletes have sustained a concussion that went undiagnosed and risked further brain injury. Those 30% of the one in five uh, high school students that will get a concussion this season will continue playing football, continue getting impacts, and that is where you get the damage. And that brings on the long-term effects and the possibility of getting early dementia, early Alzheimer's disease. So we want to make sure that what our product does is take it a step further. And by that we want to, you know, the first step is using the NASA technology. The NASA technology allows us to really sum down to where the impact's taking place uh, on the head. And not only that, but since we're trying to, you know, not use too much mechanical equipment and use more electrical uh, signals, the signal's going to be quicker and it's going to be, I could say, more accurate. The goals for the product is to eventually be sold in athletic stores or directly to athletic programs like high school sports teams. For more information about these and other stories, visit eptechview.ttuhsc.edu. Guns up. We'll see you next week.